The Speakers John Church Chapter 1 Church Many among us deny the Godhead, and many the manhood of Christ. John That which was from the beginning, and therefore true God, which we have heard, namely speaking, which we have seen with these our eyes, which we have looked upon, and these hands of ours have handled of that word, not the sounding but the essential word of the Father, of life, living of himself and giving life unto all other. Church, before you go any further, this word of life is invisible, how then could it be seen? John, yes, for that life was made manifest, to wit, in the flesh, and we, I with many others, have seen it, and bear witness, and publish unto you that eternal life which was with the Father eternally before this manifestation, and was made manifest unto us. Church. Meander, Ebion, and Cerinthus, having been teachers among us, confidently deny these things which you say, and they bear us in hand that they seek our good. John. That which I will repeat again for more certainty's sake, which we have seen and heard, declare we unto you, that ye may have fellowship with us, and that our fellowship also may be with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. And these things write we unto you, that your joy might be full, i.e. might have sound consolation in your consciences. Church. Well then, lay us down some ground, whereby we may come to be assured that we have fellowship with one another and with Christ. John, this then is the message which we have heard of him, and declare unto you, that God is light, i.e. pureness itself, and blessedness, whereas men and angels are neither, but by participation, and in him is no darkness. Church, some that make profession among us, continue still in their old course and conversation, and yet they say they have fellowship with God. John, if we say that we have fellowship with him, and walk, lead the course of our lives, in darkness, i.e. ignorance, error, impiety, we lie, dissemble, and do not truly, deal not sincerely. Church, what then is the true mark of one which hath fellowship with God? John, if we walk in the light, lead the course of our lives in sincerity of life and doctrine, we have fellowship one with another. Church, we are so defiled with sin that we have often doubt, lest we have no fellowship with God. John, the blood of Jesus Christ, his Son, cleanseth us from all sin. Church, some among us are come to that pass, that they say they have no sin, and that this estate is a sign of fellowship with God. John, if we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, imagining that to be true which is otherwise, and the truth is not in us. Church, how then may we know that our sins are washed away by Christ? John, if we confess our sins, namely with an humbled heart, desiring pardon, he is faithful and just in keeping his promise to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say, as they before name do, we have not sinned, we make him a liar whose word speaks the contrary, and his word is not in us, his doctrine hath no place in our hearts. Chapter 2 Church If this be true, which hath been said, that the blood of Christ doth cleanse from all sin, and that if we do confess them they shall be pardoned, our corruption tells us that we may sin freely. John, my little children, these things I write unto you, that ye sin not. Church, alas, we fall oft by infirmity, what shall we then do? John, if any man sin, we have an advocate, who in his own name and by his own merits pleads our cause to the Father, Jesus Christ the just and therefore fit to make intercession. Church, but how may every one of us in particular know that Christ is his advocate? John, he is the propitiation, i.e. a covering of sin or reconciliation, as the propitiatory of the ark covered the law, and not for our sins only, but also for the sins of the whole world, not only Jews, but also Gentiles of all sorts. Church, be it that I know him to be my advocate, May I not be deceived? How may I know that this my knowledge is effectual to salvation? John, hereby are we sure that we know him. Here that knowledge is meant whereby a man applies Christ and all his benefits to his own soul. If we keep, 
to keep is not to fulfill but to have a care and desire to do it for god of his mercy to his servants accepts the will for the deed his commandments church many among us profess that they know christ but their lives be not according john he that saith i know him and keeps not his commandments is a liar and the truth is not in him church how may it be proved that the endeavour to keep god's commandments is a mark of faith and fellowship with christ john he in whom the love of god is perfect may hereby know that he is in christ but he that keepeth his word in him is the love of god i.e. not that love wherewith God loveth him, but that wherewith he loveth God, is perfect indeed, i.e. sincere and sound, perfection being opposed not to imperfection, but to hypocrisy. Hereby, therefore, we know that we are in him. He that saith he remaineth in him ought to walk even so as he hath walked, and therefore he must needs endeavour himself in the commandments. Church, declare unto us some of the principle of these commandments. John, brethren, I write no new commandment unto you, but an old commandment, which ye have heard from the beginning. This old commandment is the word which ye have heard from the beginning. Again, a new commandment I write unto you, that which is true, to wit, that the commandment is new, which he will not write in him who reneweth the commandment of old given to Moses, and also in you, for the darkness is past i.e. the hardening of the minds of men under the old testament whereby they did but in a small measure understand the word and that true light a greater measure of illumination as also the writing of god's laws not in tables of stone but in the fleshy hearts so as they be transformed into the obedience thereof now shineth church well set down this commandment which is so ancient and is now renewed john he that saith as many among you do that he is in the light, that is, that he is both plentifully enlightened and born anew, and hates his brother, is in darkness, under the estate of damnation, not yet truly regenerate, until this time. He that loveth his brother abideth in that light, is truly enlightened and regenerated, and there is no offence, i.e. he will give no occasion of evil, in him. But, on the contrary, he that hateth his brother is in darkness, and walketh in darkness leadeth his life in ignorance and ungodliness, knoweth not whither he goeth, because that darkness hath blinded his eyes. Church What moveth you to deliver unto us all these notes and signs of our new birth and communion with Christ? John Little children, I write unto you, because your sins are forgiven you for his name's sake, i.e. by Christ and his merit, that he may be certified to your comfort of this. And that no kind of men among you might doubt of this, I write unto you, fathers, because ye, delighting to tell and hear of old and ancient matters, have known him that is Christ, that is from the beginning. I write unto you, young men, because ye, delighting to show your valour and strength, have overcome the evil one, that is Satan. I write unto you, little children, who delight always to be under the Father's wing, because ye have known the Father. And again, because we are dull to mark and remember that which is good for us, I have written unto you, fathers, because ye have known him that is from the beginning. I have written unto you, young men, because ye are strong, and the word of God abideth in you, and ye have overcome that wicked one. Church, if we be in the estate of grace under God's favour in Christ, how may we abide in it? John, love not this world, the corrupt estate of mankind out of Christ, neither the things that are in the world, for first of all to give reasons if any man love this world the love of the father wherewith he loved the father is not in him secondly for all that is in this world as the lust of the flesh the corruption of nature which chiefly breaketh out in evil concupiscence the lusts of the eyes the fruit of the former stirred up by outward provocations especially in the eye as it is manifest in adultery or covetousness and the pride of life i.e. arrogancy and ambition among men in common conversation of life, is not of the Father, but of the world. And thirdly, this world passeth away, and the lust thereof, but he that fulfilleth the will of God abideth for ever. Church, what other things are we to do that we may continue? John, little children, it is the last time, and as ye have heard that Antichrist shall come, a special Antichrist, the chief of all other, who is now manifest to be the Pope of Rome, even now are there many antichrists, 
heretics denying either the natures of christ or his officers or the union and the distinction of his natures whereby we know that this is the last time church those whom you call antichrists were of our company and professed as we do john they went out from us but they were not of us for if they had been of us they should have continued with us but this cometh to pass that it might appear that they are not all of us church how can we be assured of our continuance in grace for we may fall as well as they do john but ye have anointment the grace of god's holy spirit resembled by the anointings in the old testament from that holy one christ luke one fifteen and know all things church if we know all things then you need not write unto us of these matters john i have not written unto you because ye know not the truth but because you know it and that no lie is of the truth i e ye can distinguish between the sound doctrine of the gospel and errors church what is this lie which you speak of john who is a liar a deceiver a seducer but he that denieth that jesus is christ the messiah or saviour of mankind the same is that antichrist that denieth the father and the son church these whom you mean say they defend the doctrine of god as well as we and they used to call him father john whoso denieth the son hath not the father church what do you infer upon this if it be the last time as you have said john let therefore abide in you that same doctrine concerning christ which ye have heard from the beginning which the apostles preached and before them the prophets since the beginning of the world if that which ye have heard from the beginning remain ye believing and obeying it in you ye also shall continue in the same and in the father and this is the promise which he hath promised us even life eternal church we cannot persuade ourselves of perseverance seeing men so commonly fall away from christ among us john these things have i written unto you concerning them that deceive you not meaning them of you as you seem to take it but that anointing the spirit which you have received of christ and which hath led you into all truth which ye have received of him dwelleth in you abideth in you and will so continue and ye need not that any man teach you any other doctrine beside this which ye have learned already but as the same anointing teacheth you all things and is true and not lying and as it taught you ye shall abide in him and now little children abide in him that when he shall appear we being justified in christ may have boldness and not be ashamed neither satan nor our consciences accusing us for sin before him at his coming church we are still in doubt to return back to that which you said before how an endeavour to keep the commandments should be a sign of fellowship with christ john if we know that he god is righteous know ye that he which worketh righteousness is born of him as a child is known to have such a man for his father because he resembleth him chapter three church are we not born of god john behold what love the father hath given to us that we should be called the sons of god church the world doth not report us as the sons and daughters of god but for the refuse and offscouring of the world john for this cause the world knoweth not you because it knoweth not him church can god's children be subject to such infirmities and miseries as we are john dearly beloved now are we the sons of god but yet it is not made manifest what we shall be and we know that when he shall be made manifest we shall be like him not having equality but likeness of holiness and glory for we shall see him as he is for now we see him as it were through spectacles in the word and sacraments church alas poor wretches we are not like god's children for we are even sold under sin and daily carry a mass of corruption about us john every one that hath this hope to see him as he is purifieth i e though he be subject to sin yet he desireth and useth the means to cleanse himself from sin even as he is pure setting before him christ as a pattern to follow church how prove you that an endeavour to purify ourselves is a note of adoption john by the contrary whosoever committeth sin practiseth sin with full consent of will not endeavouring himself in holiness of life transgresseth also the law and for that cause being under the curse of the law cannot be god's children 
for sin is the transgression of the law understand by law not moral law but any commandment of god whether it be in the law or gospel and again ye know that he was made manifest took our nature on him that he might take away our sins the guilt and punishment at once and the corruption little by little and in him is no sin thirdly whosoever abideth in him sinneth not he doth not give himself to sin so as it should reign in him whosoever sinneth hath not seen him nor known him to wit effectually so as he can apply christ and all his benefits to himself church but some teach that faith is sufficient and they embolden us to live as we will john little children let no man deceive you he that worketh righteousness is righteous as he is righteous he that committeth sin though he say he doth believe and therefore thinks himself justified before god is of the devil i e resembling the devil as the child doth the father and is governed by his spirit for the devil sinneth from the beginning of the world which appeareth that for this purpose was made manifest the son of god that he might dissolve the works from the beginning and continuance of all rebellion and disobedience to god of the devil and further to display those seducers whosoever is born of god sinneth not i e doth not keep a course in sin howsoever he fall by infirmity for his seed i e god's word cast into the heart by the operation of the spirit making a man to spring up into a new creature remaineth in him neither can he sin because he is born of god church briefly to come to the point how may it be known who is god's child and who is to be reputed the child of the devil john in this are the children of god known and the children of the devil whosoever worketh not righteousness is not of god neither to give you a plain example he that loveth not his brother for this is the message which ye have heard from the beginning that we should love one another not as cain he was of that evil one satan and slew his brother and wherefore slew he him because his works were evil and his brother's good church yet if we love those which be our brethren according to the flesh never so much they cease not to hate and persecute us john marvel not my brethren though this world hate you church if not to love be a note of the child of the devil what is the note of god's child john we know that we are translated from death to life because we love the brethren i e such as be christians because they are christians as on the contrary he that loveth not his brother abideth in death is under the state of damnation whosoever hateth his brother is a manslayer and ye know that no manslayer hath eternal life abiding in him church you have showed us fully that love is a work of adoption now show us how we may know whether we love our brethren or not john hereby we have perceived love that he laid down his life for us therefore we ought carried with the like affection of love to lay down our lives for the brethren church many in speech do pretend love but we find not this willing affection and readiness to show love john whosoever hath this world's good wherewith this life is sustained and seeth his brother have need and shutteth up his bowels i e hath no compassion because it showeth itself by the rolling of the entrails from him how dwelleth the love of god in him church what other note is there of true love john my little children let us not love in word nor in tongue only but in deed and in truth sincerely one for thereby we know that we are of the truth sound professors of the gospel of christ two and shall before him appease our hearts in regard of any accusation that our conscience shall lay unto us before god's judgment seat if our heart condemn us an evil conscience accuse us god is greater than our heart namely in judging of us and knoweth all things church how may we know that our consciences will not condemn us john beloved if our hearts condemn us not then have we boldness towards god i e to come unto him by prayer church what other fruits is there of true love john whatsoever we ask we receive of him because we keep his commandments and do those things which are pleasant in his sight church what are these commandments john this then is his commandment that we believe in the name of his son jesus christ and love one another as he gave commandment church have they which keep these commandments their prayers granted prove this john yes for he that keepeth his commandments dwelleth in him and he in him 
Church, how may we know that God dwelleth in us, and we in him? John, hereby we know that he abideth in us, by that spirit of sanctification, whereby we are renewed, which he hath given us. Chapter 4 Church, to return again to that which was beforehand mentioned, shall we believe all that say they have the Spirit? John, dearly beloved, believe not every spirit, i.e. doctrines which men bragging of the Spirit do teach, but try the spirits whether they be of God, for many false prophets are gone out into the world. Church, how may we discern of spirits? John, hereby shall ye know the Spirit of God, every spirit, doctrine, which confesseth that Jesus Christ, the Messiah, is come in the flesh, is made true man, this being the substance of the gospel, is of God. And every spirit that confesseth not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh, is not of God. But this is the spirit of Antichrist, of whom ye have heard, that he shall come, and now already he is in the world. Church, we fear, because these false spirits are of great power, to persuade and seduce many. John, little children, ye are of God, and have overcome them. For greater is he that is in you, God's spirit, than he that is in the world, the spirit of Satan. Church. But the doctrine of these men is of great account, and hath many followers in the world. Ours hath but few which embrace it. John. They are of this world, and therefore speak they of this world. And this world, i.e. ignorant and ungodly men, heareth them. We are of God. He which knoweth God heareth us. He which is not of God heareth us not. Hereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error, namely by the liking and applause of the world. Church, how may we preserve ourselves against these seducers? John, beloved, let us love one another, for love cometh of God, and every one that loveth is born of God, and knoweth God, by a special knowledge whereby they are assured that God the Father of Christ is their Father, Christ their Redeemer, the Holy Ghost their Sanctifier. He that loveth not knoweth not God, for God is love, i.e. wholly bent to show his love and compassion to his people. For a proof of this, Herein was the love of God made manifest among us, because God sent his only begotten Son into the world, that we might live through him. Herein is that love not that we loved God, but that he loved us, and sent his Son to be a reconciliation for our sins. Church, what of all this? John, beloved, if God so loved us, we ought also one to love another. Church, how can God manifest his love to us, he being a spirit invisible? John, no man hath seen God at any time. Nevertheless, if we love one another, that is a sign that God dwelleth in us, and his love is perfect in us, i.e. that love wherewith he loveth us is thoroughly made manifest towards us by our love, as the light of the moon shining on us argueth the light of the sun shining upon the moon, of whom, as from the fountain, the moon takes her light. Church, how may we know that God dwelleth in us? John, hereby do we know that we dwell in him and he in us, because he hath given us of his spirit. Church, what other sign have you of God's dwelling in us? John, we have seen and do testify that the Father sent that Son to be the Saviour of the world. Whosoever confesseth in faith and love that Jesus is the Son of God, in him dwelleth God and he in God. Church, the devil will confess Christ. John, and we which is more, have known and believed the love which God hath in us. Church, declare how our love should be a sign of God's dwelling in us. John, God is love, and therefore he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in God, and God in him. Church, God is love we grant, but how may we know that God is love to us? John, hereby is that love perfect, i.e. fully made manifest in us, that we may have boldness to stand before him without fear in the day of judgment. For even as he is, even so are we in the world, not in equality, but in conformity of holiness. As may appear by the contrary, there is no fear in love, i.e., when a man is assured of God's love to him, he doth not distrust nor servilely fear him in respect of his sins. But perfect love casteth out fear, for fear hath painfulness, checkings and torments of conscience, and he that feareth is not perfect in love. Church. What other sign is there that God is love to us? John, we love him because he loved us first, as when a man warms him, the heat of his body is because the fire is first hot. Church, if this be so, then they which love not their brethren are loved of God in Christ. 
seeing all generally say they love God. John, if any man say, I love God, and hate his brother, he is a liar, for how can he that loveth not his brother whom he hath seen love God whom he hath not seen? And this commandment have we of him, that he that loveth God should love his brother also. Chapter 5 Whosoever believeth that Jesus is that Christ, true Messiah, is born of God, and every one that loveth him which did beget, i.e. God the Father, loveth him also which is begotten of him, the child of God, a true Christian. Church, this being manifest that they are hypocrites, which say they love God, yet show no love to their brethren, teach us how we may know that we love our brethren. John, in this we know that we love the children of God when we love God and keep his commandments, that is, endeavour to keep, the beginning of the action being put for the whole. For this is the love of God, the duty of love to God, that we keep his commandments. Church, but no man can keep the law. John, his commandments are not burdenous to them that are in Christ and are freed from the curse of the law which makes the law grievous and are also guided by his Holy Spirit. And this is apparent for all that is born of God overcometh the world, Satan with all corruptions and works of darkness. Church, by what means? John, and this is the victory which hath overcome the world, even our faith, which is the instrument and hand whereby we lay hold on him, that he in us, and so we by him might overcome the world. Who is that overcometh this world, but he which believeth that Jesus is the Son of God? Church, how may we be resolved that Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Mary, was the Son of God and the Messiah? He came but basely into the world. John, this is that Jesus Christ which came by water. Christ which came by water. Sanctification, signified by legal washings, and blood, imputation of Christ's righteousness, or the sprinkling of his blood. Not by water only, but by water and blood because Christ worketh both justification and sanctification together. And it is that spirit, a man's own conscience inwardly purified, that beareth witness, for that spirit is truth, that is the testimony of the spirit of adoption, certifying us that we are the sons of God, is true. For, that I may speak yet more plainly, there are three which bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one, namely in testimony. And there are three which bear record in earth, the spirit, and the water, and blood, and these three agree in one. Church, how show you that these witnesses be authentical and to be believed? John, if we receive the witness of men, the witness of God is greater, for this is the witness of God, i.e. that was said to come from heaven, which he testifieth of his Son. Again, he that believeth in the Son of God hath the witness in himself, the peace of conscience which he may feel in himself. And further, he that believeth not God maketh him a liar, because he believed not the record that God witnessed of his Son. Church, what is the effect of that which these witnesses testify? John, and this is the record to wit that God hath given unto us eternal life, and this life is in his Son. He which hath the Son hath life, and he which hath not the Son of God hath not life. And to conclude, these things have I written unto you, that believe in the name of the Son of God, that ye may know that ye have life eternal, and that ye may believe, i.e. increase in faith, in the name of the Son of God. Church, how can we have life eternal now, that are so miserable and so full of wants? John, and this is that assurance that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will he heareth us. Church, how may we know that God granteth our prayers, made according to his will? John, if we know that he heareth, that is, as it were, to give an ear to our prayers, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petitions which we have desired of him, though the things which we asked be not given us in that measure and manner and time in which we ask them. Church, let us hear an example of those things which God will grant when we pray. John, if a man see his brother sin a sin that is not unto death, that is, which may be pardoned, let him ask pardon in his behalf, and he shall give him life for them that sin not unto death. There is a sin unto death, after which necessarily damnation followeth, as the sin against the Holy Ghost. I say not that thou shouldst pray for it. 
church but is not every sin a sin to death john all unrighteousness is sin and therefore deserveth death but there is a sin not unto death namely that which is pardoned in christ church we fear lest we have committed this sin which is to death john we know that whosoever is born of god sinneth not but he that is begotten of god keepeth himself and that wicked one satan toucheth him not i e doth him no violence or or he cannot give him a deadly wound we know that we are of god and this whole world lieth in evil that is in servitude under satan and sin church how show you that we are of god john we know that the son of god is come and hath given us a mind to know him that is true and we are in him that is true that is in his son jesus christ this same is that very god and that eternal life church how may we keep ourselves in god and never commit the sin to death john little children keep yourselves from images whether they be of false gods or of the true god if you enjoyed this recording please support our channel by subscribing liking and sharing our content we would also be happy to receive any comments or feedback below